Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Flow. Uh, today's workout, we're gonna go strictly over breath work. And I've gotten a lot of requests to dive a little deeper into the, the breathing that I incorporate into my workouts. So uh, that's why we're doing that today, okay? Um, quick disclaimer, I, you know, all this breathing that, I, that I'm gonna go over today and what I do in the workouts are just things that I've learned from people throughout my journey and what works for me. So I don't have any formal training, but these are just things that work for me and hopefully they work for you. All right, uh, the, now I'm gonna go over the basic framework and then we'll get into some exercises. Um, so key points. Number one, the idea of breathing in sync with our movements, okay? What I mean by that is when we exert energy or when we're going into a stretch, we're exhaling, all right? When we go through transitions or a, a rest period or recovery period, that's when we're inhaling. Point number two, when we're inhaling and exhaling, we want everything to be coming from our diaphragm, okay? Our belly versus our chest. Okay, we have more air capacity from our, from our diaphragm, so if we can build, and there's muscles in the diaphragm, so if we can build those muscles, we're able to start controlling our breath uh, more efficiently, okay? And so when we exhale, we wanna draw the belly button in. When we inhale, we wanna draw the belly button out. You notice if we go in and out, that's, we're on a, a horizontal plane versus if we're breathing from our chest, we're on a vertical plane. So we wanna stay on that horizontal plane where we're drawing the belly button in on the, on the exhale, drawing the belly button out on the inhale, okay? Um, next, next point the, is just the importance of being able to control our breathing. Um, you know, I first started doing it when, well, so to start out, you know, when I first even saw anything like diaphragm breathing, it was when I saw, when I watched the documentary on, on Hicks and Gracie, it's on YouTube, it's called Choke. Uh, it's what got me into Jiu Jitsu. And I'm sure, you know, just like a lot of other people out there, uh, that was my introduction. And I fell in love right away when I went to start training. Uh, luckily, I found myself uh, living in Los Angeles, training at Chrome Gracie's gym, which is Hicks and Son. And that's where I started uh, working on working on the breathing and building my diaphragm muscles that helped me initially on the mats and so in a physical capacity but as I started practicing it more I found myself using my breathing in all aspects in life right so whether I was at a you know getting ready for a work meeting or you know asking somebody out on a date or any, any scenario, um, you know, when it, when it comes down to it, the breath is all we have at the end of the day, right? And so, you know, being able to learn how to control it is just something that is super beneficial in all aspects of life. And, you know, another, you know, another area that it, that has helped me uh, is con dealing and controlling my emotions. Right, whether it's fear, anxiety, anger, happiness, like good or bad emotions, being able to use our breath um, really help to uh, just manage manage all of our emotions and and what we have going on in our head. Okay, so tons of benefits. Uh, you know, let's let's go over some exercises now that'll help you start gaining control of your diaphragm muscles, and then. Uh, as you keep practicing, uh, hopefully you'll be able to start uh, experiencing some of the benefits uh, on the mats and off the mats and just throughout your, your daily life, all right? So let's get into it. So there's gonna be five different, uh, five different exercises. We're gonna do a minute a piece and we're gonna do a minute out of the mouth and a minute out of the nose for each one uh, because it's just, it's important to be able to get comfortable breathing out of your nose and your mouth. Okay, uh, so the first one is gonna be, we'll start breathing out of the mouth. We're gonna do it for one minute and we're gonna exhale on every second, okay? 
Don't worry about the inhale for these exercises. I've, I've found that uh, just focusing on the exhale for the majority of them uh, is what's helped me really gain control of my diaphragm muscles and uh, just increase the control overall, okay? Um, but let's get into it. So first minute, we're breathing on the second and we're focusing on just the exhale. All right, drawing the belly, remember we're drawing the belly button in, we're on a horizontal plane. Here we go. Good. Now we're going out of the nose. Same thing. Exhaling on every second. Three, two, one, go. Good. Now we're going back to the mouth. We're going to do two exhales for every second. All right. Speeding it up a little bit. One. Go. Here we go. Good. Now we're doing the same thing, breathing out of the nose. Two breaths, two exhales for every second. Three, two, <clears throat> one, go. Here we go.
All right, next minute we're going back to the mouth and we're exhaling as fast as we can, okay? Three, two, one, <clears throat> go. Here we go. Same thing now going out of the nose. We're exhaling as fast as we can draw the belly button in, okay? Three, mm -hmm. two, one, go. Here we go. All right, so now instead of the deep, the, the, the quick breaths, we're going into the deep breath. So we're gonna draw the belly button in as deep as we can. Out of the mouth. Let's go, same thing now out of the nose. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Good. Here we go, last one. Out of the mouth, we're working on massaging the diaphragm, okay? So do what you can. Here we go.
Nice, let's go. Last one, massaging the diaphragm, doing what you can out of the nose, okay? Three. Here we go. Two. Nice and time, guys. Um, awesome job. I, you know, those are just some techniques and, and practices that I like to do that have really helped me gain control of my diaphragm muscles. Uh, but so starting out with the short breaths, right? Just learning how, just a little, you know, just a little bit, being able to draw the belly button in, getting comfortable drawing the belly button in on the exhale, and as you do it more, you'll be able to start going a little faster. You'll be able to start pulling the, drawing the belly button in a little deeper. And then as you progress even further, you'll be able to start having control where you can massage the diaphragm. And it's just a, um, it's just a cleansing, euphoric type uh, experience that I think is really, really beneficial to do uh you know definitely first thing in the morning just to clear clear the fog um you know just gonna get your mind right for the day uh you know but you can you you use it how you want it's your practice these are the things that i like to do um but you know so you want to figure out what works best for you uh if the you know the cues that i'm using don't resonate well with you make up your own cues Right, um, just we're doing what works, what works for us. Right, that's all. And so, hopefully, this was helpful for you guys. Uh, please let me know if you have any further questions on it. Um, and yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep giving me feedback. I want to just keep being. I want to provide value and help us out through this through this crazy time. And hopefully, this video did that. So, see you guys next time.